hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to show the total price of the products in our cart so in the previous video we had made this remove thing and we had just integrated the script for this to increase but when you refresh this it's going to become whatever we had added in the cart so now we are going to see how to show the total price and when you increment the price should increase or if you decrement it should uh, decrease and even if we remove the product the price will change so we are going to make that in this video so let's start with the coding so first let us show the total price of all the products in our cart so for that what we are going to do is we are going to declare a variable over here say at php and php and here we are going to set dollar total is equal to zero and whenever the product is iterating right we will just add that price in the total variable so before this for each is ending just copy that line and paste it over here and here we are going to say total plus equal to the item price so item of product of selling price into the quantity so we must be having that over here yeah item quantity so what we are doing over here is this is the total variable we are just plus equal to what it is going to do is whatever the value is there already in that plus the next value what we are assigning over here so uh, assume there is a product of thousand rupees which is uh, the cost is thousand rupees of that and we are selecting two quantity for that so it's going to multiply and add it in the total value so after this is done we are going to display it below the card so here i'm going to say card footer let's say h6 and display the total variable dollar total total price save let us refresh and check the output refresh here you can see the total price is showing 26,000 that is because here we have 22,999 so 23, 24, 25 and the other 999 so 26 so it is calculating perfectly and now when I just increase this thing I need this to update so what we are going to do and along with that when I increase this this has to store in the database right so next time the user comes and checks his cart this should remain as 5 so now if I refresh it's going to go at 1 so we are going to make that also now so for that what we are going to do is for this increment and decrement button we are going to say change quantity button okay change quantity copy that and paste it for the both the buttons okay just copy this class name and go to your custom.js here jq click and paste it with the dot okay so it is a class name right so it will be dot over here and here we are going to take the id of that thing so in the delete thing we had done so i'll just copy it from there so this is the thing so wherever this product data of that product id I'll show you here you can see product data of input type equal to hidden and product ID yeah so we are taking the ID of that whichever we had clicked so after taking the ID we need to take the quantity of that right how much the quantity is there so I'm going to say where quantity is equal to I'm going to copy the same thing and paste it over here so instead of this product ID I need the product quantity so here it is quantity input copy that and paste it over here so we got the quantity input right and now we are going to send the ajax call say so jq ajax method is going to be post url we are going to say update cart and for the data 
let's let's say data are here and I'm to send the product ID going to be product ID comma the product quantity is going to be this QTY and we don't require this data type after this I just alert the response alert response so let us create the URL update card copy and go to your web.php and here we are going to say route post update cart add a semicolon first and here it's going to be the cart controller class and the function name let's keep update cart so one thing guys here to notice so if you keep it inside the auth right so it's not going to cause any problem because the user cannot update the cart without logging in so you can keep it over here also so i'm just keeping it over here it doesn't make any difference just copy this go to your controller and we'll create a function with that name let's say if you n function update cart and in this we are getting the request right so request dollar request here we are going to take two things so that is the product product underscore id equal to dollar request of input of the this name we have given over here right prod id copy that and paste it over here so similarly for the product quantity it is the prod quantity copy it and paste it over here here we'll do the auth check if auth check so it's obviously going to be authenticated because uh, without being authenticated he cannot go to the cart page so obviously he cannot send the update cart request from there so after if he's authenticated we are going to check if the product id exists in his cart so you can take it from the delete code i guess so here we have done this so if the product id exists let's paste it over here this is simple code guys this is the card model where product id equal to my product id and where the user id equal to the auth id so the authenticated user in his cart there is a product like this if it is existing then what we are going to do is we are going to update it to this quantity so either it is increment or decrement we will just take the quantity in that text box and update that cart equal to call the cart model where I'll just copy it from here so where the product ID is this and the user ID is this we are going to update the quantity for this so dollar cart of quantity what was the column name so I'll just go to my database and prod quantity see in my cart table it is product quantity prod qty so I'm going to say prod qty is equal to the product quantity copy and paste and here is in say dollar cart update so I'll just change this variable name because my column name and this is matching so to avoid any errors I'll just change it off let me make it full product quantity copy that and paste it over here save so after the update we need to return the response right so say return response JSON and here I'm going to say status updated let me say quan quantity updated 
save now let us check go to output refresh and when I click on this that's so 2 let me refresh and check it's still 1 let us check with the console inspect go to the console increment ok the CSR of thing again I missed it so we need to send that to the Ajax right so here we need to add this Ajax headers so instead of adding this in all the click we can directly give it outside ok so it will take it for even this Ajax and even this Ajax call so let us refresh and check the output just refresh and we are going to press that says 500 internal server we go there and check just two few arguments let us check with the controller go back and here exists cart pair authority and here it have not given anything how will it work say first ok so the first record with the product id and the authenticated user id so now this should work fine let us go and refresh and increment the quantity and you can see it has alerted object ok so now if you refresh it is going to be 2 so I have made it 4 let us refresh so you can see it's still 4 let me increment this thing yeah so it's working good so now this total also has to change along with this right just reduce everything ok and when you refresh you can see this price will change so let us just put this in the code itself so after this so we are not going to alert that remove that just say window dot location dot reload save and just refresh the page close this console and when I just increment this you can see the price has changed increment the price has changed ok so this is the total price so let us just remove one product and try so I'm going to remove this so 1099 into 2 has to reduce over here let me click on remove product deleted successfully and you can see it's gone from here let us just add the checkout button over here go to your blade and here in this I'll just add rupees and in the footer I'm going to say it's going to be btn dot btn check out proceed to check out or you can just keep check out btn success refresh let us just put this in the right side so say btn float and so it bootstrap fire right so it's going to be end and this thing I need the boot button outline success yeah this is the class name refresh you can see proceed to checkout over here so when I click this it has to take me to the checkout page where I will have the total price and the payment option over here and the billing details over here we will see that in the next video so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again